Hey guys, my name is Alejandro. I work with aerodynamics at Siemens Camesa. And today I want to show you how you measure the power performance of a wind turbine. Well, welcome to Ørsteil. Ørsteil is a wind park located in the northern part of, of Denmark. Actually, it's not just a wind park. It's what we call a test center. When you have a prototype turbine, there's a bunch of things that you want to measure. Power, noise, loads, for example. Actually, one of the most important things when you're uh, measuring the performance of a wind turbine is to estimate the wind, because you want to know how much power the turbine pr uh, can, can produce at different wind speeds. And that's what makes this place, this test center, special. Because in front of every turbine, you can place what's called a MET mast, a meteorological mast. I'm going to show you to it in a second. That's the mast. That's the MET mast. And it is located very, very far away from the turbine, which is just here. Now, when the turbine is spinning, it creates a pressure field right in front of it. This pressure field slows down the wind. So you want to be able to measure the wind speed away from the wind turbine. And that's exactly why the meteorological mast or the MET mast is located so far away. Let's go and check it out. You can see the four different measuring heights at the instruments in these locations where you have those booms going out of the out of the mast to the left and to the right. And at the very very top of the MET mast, there's a single cup anemometer. Now, I'm a bit curious because normally there's gonna be a second instrument, which I have not mentioned, and it's called a lighter. And it should be somewhere here around, somewhere close to the Metmas. Let's go look for it. And I found it. It's this tiny, tiny box right next to me. Now, this lighter, what you see, you see it has a glass on top of it. And the glass is such that you're able to send laser beams up in the air. So it's actually sending four beams up in the air and it's using the reflections from the particles which are in the air to estimate the wind speed at different heights. So with that instrument, you're going to be able to, be able to measure the wind speed all across the rotor of the wind turbine. Whereas with the meteorological mass, you're only measuring it at different points. So with the combination of two, of the two of them, you actually have the full information of the wind field across the road trip. And then with the information of wind speed, wind direction and so on, plus the power performance of the turbine, you're going to be able to measure the power curve of the turbine.